Antigua is a colonial style city located in the highlands of Guatemala and surrounded by volcanoes. It's a popular place for people to visit and no wonder, Antigua is very charming and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, full of well-preserved historical attractions, restaurants and cobblestone streets to discover. Good morning from Antigua, Guatemala. My name is Yannika and welcome to this video. We arrived to Guatemala yesterday evening. We flew here from Panama with a connection flight in El Salvador. And we had a bit of a weird flight experience because our second flight was late, but like they wouldn't tell us. So we were sitting by the gate, like the fl flight was supposed to have already boarded, but they wouldn't officially say that it's late. Like it kept saying that the flight is gonna leave at 5.45 45, but then the time was like 6 30. You had to like Google to see like oh the flight is two hours delayed And then when we asked is it delayed? They were like no, no, it's gonna go soon, but it was delayed I don't know. It was really weird Like they kept denying the fact that it was delayed even though it was very clear that It was delayed. It was a weird experience, but we made it to Guatemala So we came straight to this town called Antigua. This is a very popular city for tourists to visit It's supposed to be really beautiful and nice. We decided to not go to Guatemala City because I've heard a bit mixed things regarding like safety in Guatemala City and we only have two weeks in Guatemala so we've decided to pick and choose a bit and go to the place that we really want to see. Yesterday evening we checked into this really cute little hostel. We have a private room here. It seems really nice. It has like really cozy vibes. It kind of feels like a grandma's house but in like the best possible way. And apparently there's a nice terrace here where you can see a volcano from. We're now really hungry and we need to figure out also where to get some cash. It's always a bit figuring out things when you arrive to a new country and a new city. And yeah, I'm really really excited to get to explore a new city and a new country. only been walking around for like I don't know five minutes and I am in love with this city already it is so beautiful and also like the atmosphere here feels really peaceful and calm which I love so yeah really liking this place already These are the ruins of an old cathedral that got destroyed by earthquakes in the 18th century. just took a very slow and bumpy tuk-tuk ride up to this famous viewpoint. I think it is called Cerro de la Cruz. Let's hope we'll be able to see some beautiful views. 
So from here you have a view over the city and a view over the big volcano behind it. But I'm afraid it's a bit of a misty day, so you can barely see the volcano. I knew there was a volcano next to Antigua, but I didn't actually realize until now that the volcano is this close. I'm not someone who usually comes to McDonald's very often, especially when traveling, but Rol is feeling really hungry and I was kind of craving an ice cream. And we came across this McDonald's that is really beautiful. It's huge. There's a playground. There's like a McDonald's sign swing. There's a McCafe. There's a little water fountain. Like, I think this is the most, I don't know, extra McDonald's I've ever seen. Oh yeah! Ooh, it's actually so good. <laughs> My inner child is happy. to a Danish restaurant called Skål and Skål means cheers and fun fact my first ever word was Skål because yeah I am also Swedish speaking and Skål means also cheers in Swedish and when I learned that word apparently right after I had learned it I would go around in this party with a sausage in my hand saying Skål, Skål constantly so um, yeah fun story Good morning. I started my day with having a meeting and now I'm having some breakfast. We just cooked it ourselves. We made some boiled eggs and some toasted bread with cheese and also got some orange juice. And we're sitting here at the terrace of our hostel and the view is really nice. You can see the volcano from here and stuff. This is the perfect place where to start our day. If you want to see a cool overview over the city, then I recommend visiting this spot. As from here you can see Antigua from a different point of view and the famous Ark of Santa Catalina from above.
We've now come to a place that's a little bit outside of the city center, but a walkable distance away. We've come to this little farm that has a restaurant, there's animals, you can see them grow plants. And the idea with this restaurant is that everything you eat comes straight from the farm. So it's like super fresh ingredients and stuff. It's not necessarily the cheapest prices we noticed. We both went for some French toast that was craving something a little bit sweet. We've seen already a bunch of cats and supposedly there's also pigs and I think chickens and stuff. So after we've eaten, we'll explore this place a bit more. Uh His tail is wagging. Hello! Come here! Come here! Oh my god, I can't believe it worked. I can't believe it worked! <laughs> Hello! His little tail is wagging. Oh! hours have passed, I've been doing some editing and Rol has been relaxing. So tonight we are going to have a dinner at Taco Bell. I know yesterday we went to McDonald's, today we're going to Taco Bell. But I don't know, we saw a really nice looking Taco Bell with a really cute inner yard and also like budget wise it's a nice option and we're, we're just craving it. But in my defense I've only been to Taco Bell once in my life many many years ago so I think that makes it more acceptable or so I'm at least telling telling myself. soon about to check out from our accommodation but at the moment it is 11 o'clock and our transport going to the next place isn't until two o'clock so we have still some time to explore Antigua before we need to go and there are actually two more spots that we want to check out these spots were actually recommended by the owner of this accommodation first place is this palace that's apparently free to visit right in the central square and then the other spot is a market I'm I must say I have really enjoyed Antigua. I think it's such a beautiful city. It feels very safe. It's very colorful and quite peaceful as well. So yeah, I definitely recommend coming to here if you're in Guatemala. And I think this really is like the perfect place where to start if you are traveling to Guatemala. We were also yesterday told by the owner that Guatemala City is indeed not the safest city and that it was a good choice of us to not go there. If anyone of you has been to Guatemala City, please let me know in the comments how did you like it was it worth it or not or was it okay that we skipped it but yeah let's now first head to that palace
This building used to be the house of the government, but today it hosts two different museums inside. As said, it's free to visit and has lots of art and history exhibits to see. The facilities are beautiful and spacious, and this is a great place where to learn more about the Guatemalan culture. first thought this market it was really tiny like just that one street but um, no it is not continued like into another street and now we're in like a proper market maze let's see if we can find our way back out again I think this is the way back out <laughs> 